Hello everybody, in this video I will be continuing my Chuai Hai 12 review by going more in depth on how each app and software performs on the Chuai. Each app will be segmented into separate videos to create the series. Throughout the series I will test Medibang, Sketchbook, Painter, Ivis Paint Air, Adobe Sketch, Illustrator and Artflow. In this video I will focus on Medibang. The home page to this app has some banners and a showcase of recently uploaded art by other users. But don't worry, the banners won't appear when you're drawing. Medibang comes across as a desktop app. It has a lot of tools and options which many Android apps don't have. It's got the layers, blending options, brush settings and a huge selection of brushes available for download from Medibang's cloud system. Positive she works really nice here. I'm just going to show you a few of the different brushes. The watercolour brushes are okay, but not quite as good as the Paint Tool Sci and Clip Studio paint ones. The undo and redo buttons are very conveniently at the bottom left corner, which I found was very comfortable and thoughtfully placed function. As you can see here, the colours can be blended well with the watercolour brushes. Now I am one of those weird people who like to sketch using the tool I would use for line art, so I'm using the pen tool here. Pretty much every Android app can be used for sketching. I use light and quick strokes for initial sketching. As you can see, Medibang is producing nice smooth sketch lines on the UI. Let's speed the footage up here, it's just basic sketching. I like to clean up my sketch work with the eraser from time to time as well. To keep this review nice and short, I'm drawing a kawaii milk carton. For me, the best part of Medibang was the pen correction function. You can choose from 1 to 5 and it makes the drawing experience so much smoother. The desktop counterpart to the Medibang has up to 15 levels, but I might be wrong as I haven't used the desktop version in a while. One of the things I didn't like about Medibang is I couldn't use touch to rotate the canvas. Instead, there are two buttons at the bottom to rotate left and right. There's no noticeable lag when rotating or zooming on the Chuai, but what I did notice was that when I was using two fingers to zoom, the app kept thinking I was using one finger to draw. After selecting the palm rejection option in the settings, the app still sometimes registered only one finger, but at least it stopped making brush strokes from my finger. I believe this is a problem with Medibang not Chuai because I didn't experience any problems with touch gestures in Sketchbook. in with the magic wand is easy. Because of the colour choice I made, you can't see that I've filled it in unfortunately. Medibank has the option of layer clipping so I can draw on a new layer without drawing or colouring outside the base fill layer. Not all Android apps have this feature. Here I'm using a combination of the watercolour brush, blur brush and the soft eraser to shade and blend colours together. Overall, the drawing experience is pleasant on the Medibang using Chuai Hai 12. I only had a small issue with touch gestures not being 100% responsive and absence of no touch rotation, otherwise the app is very comprehensive with potential to create desktop quality art in an Android app. There was absolutely no lag experience during the use of this app, which is fantastic. One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning was the maximum canvas size which is 19,999 by 19,999 pixels, 
or the equivalent in centimetres which is 145.14 by 145.14 centimetres. Take note that you can't choose the DPI of the canvas. Our maximum canvas size Medibang lags on the Chuai Hai 12 which is a downside for anyone who likes to work on large scale artwork. So that's it for this video. It's not a full review on how to use Medibank, it's just how it performs on the Chuai Hai 12 and little bits of pros and cons about it. I hope it was useful for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!